As Nigerians prepare for another round of elections in 2023, all eyes are on the political parties to step up a lot more regarding their statutory responsibilities towards the citizenry, including voter education, recruitment and revalidation of membership for a more robust participation in the electoral process. At the moment, there seems to be lingering doubt as to whether or not they are adequately prepared in that respect. As a reconfiguration of the political space gathers space, a group of 16 former presidential candidates recently defected en masse to Nigeria's ruling party, the All Progressives Congress. We are now being joined from our Rais Abuja studio by one of them, Shitu Mohammed, the former national chairman and presidential candidate of the Advanced People's Democratic Alliance, to have a discussion on the need for political parties to make membership recruitment and revalidation a continuous exercise. We're taking conscious steps to enhance internal democracy. Welcome to the program, Shitu Mohammed. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning, my brother. Well, quickly, the obvious question. Uh, you are one of those former presidential candidates who have uh, moved to the APC in the course of the uh, registration and revalidation of the membership register of that ruling party. What was the motivation? Was your plan all along to join the APC? Uh, thank you. Uh, and now you've done it. <laughs> what is the attraction? Uh, th th uh, thank you, my big, big brother. You, uh, for us, uh, we believe that we share the same ideology, we share the same vision, and we share the same aspiration for the betterment of the country. And we look at the political party that we share that, and we see that APC is the party that we share the same ideology. And we have to get into it to, ob to, be, to be able to propagate those our ideology. What are this ideology? It's about indivisibility of the country, that the country is one and indivisible. Well, no matter what, we must sit as a country and believe in our country. And secondly, in that we are now moving from nascent democratic process to become a full-blown democratic nation. Therefore, we must now put our system together to make sure that registration, because for you to build a strong country, a nation, you must build a strong political party. Strong political party bring strong government, and strong government bring development to the nation. And it is time that we all join hand to create Nigeria that works for all of us. In that respect, we, ne we now say, look, uh, it's time we now go to a party that we share this aspiration with. That is what called for us to move into APC. Right, so what do you make of the criticisms that have been leveled against the membership and revalidation um, registration process, especially with the fact that it's for a specific period? It's not a continuous exercise. There are those who are, you know, kicking against that. What are your thoughts on that? Yes, uh, if you are talking about political party, political party is about conflict management. And in conflict management, you have different ideas, you have people that have various opinions. How you, how you merge this opinion to the betterment of the political party and the country is what matters most. And in that respect, that is why uh, for us, like a uh, such example of myself here, uh, whom I know, I had uh, 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 been elected people that vote for me from various states, and I have to now move to them. Good. Uh, you know, this registration started uh, at the heart of this COVID, and now uh, you, you, the publicity and, and the mobilization committee have been able to use electronics and other things to move to people. But in, our, in this respect, we must, as people also, now move from one state to another and talk to our people that this is the reason why we, are, we, we share this aspiration with APC and people should move there. So like uh, with the presidential candidate that I joined, we joined and we are start moving. I have moved to my ward, 
where I know this uh, Arise Television cover me there, where I register as APC. I've moved to my local government, which is municipal, and I've been, I have various groups that we have been meeting. And I now have to move to other states like Niger, Kogi, start moving to all those states and talk to my people. And therefore, you also look at the logistics of how it, the, the, moving the uh, 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 registration uh, materials. It delay in some area, and therefore that's why we are looking at. Uh, I want to use this opportunity that you gave me to say the leadership of APC under the my Boni should please extend it more than even the three weeks that they did now, because you can move towards to the whole country in three weeks, and that we want in order to entrench democratic norms and process in, that will help people to believe in this democratic process. We must bring as much as people, people that have mind, we share the same aspiration and ideology with us into the fold of the APC. And we, you cannot do that within just two, three, four, five weeks. It's something we must leave open until when probably the constitution of the country or the INEC guidelines say so, so, so time, you can stop from this. That is what we are urging the leadership of APC to do as because we just came in and then if we are, you shut us out now, we'll be in that party and we'll not have our members there. So we want to bring back our members. We want to urge them to come in and politics is about lobbying. So we go about lobbying our people to come in. So, you know, some people will agree with you immediately. Some people will say, look, let me contact my wife and my family. So you give them time. You don't force people into it. You put people that share the same ideology with you. And this time around, it's not about going to the political party and their aspiration or something. It's about how do we now form ourselves, put our, join our hand to build this country and build it together in a manner that, and that's why we have been saying, uh, if you close the registration, it will shut out people. You disenfranchise them under the, uh, when the political parties start their elections. So please uh, urge them to open the, the, the space more until INEC guidelines give us. Go ahead. What would you say to the discordant tunes as regards even this registration and validation process? I, I mean, we've had people that are termed as leaders in the party uh, speak against it. We've, we've had Adam Sashomole speak against it. We've had uh, uh, Bessie Akonde speak against this revalidation process and this registration process. So if people like that, that, that know the APC more than you do, can speak against this process, uh, what's your take on it? And why do you think it will be the silver bullets to all the internal agitations in the APC? Yes, uh, it is time that now Nigerians have come to see and resolve that we must build a strong political party. If you are to build a strong political party, because with strong political party, as I earlier said, you build a strong government. And when you build a strong government, you institutionalize governance. As soon as institutionalize governance, then the country will be the benefit of it. How do you institutionalize governance? You must also institutionalize political party. And institutionalizing political party is a game of number. How many members do you have? If you short people out, they, have, they want to be your member and they are short out. How do they contribute that little quota? I think what our leaders should start focusing now is not about self. It's about the country. It's about moving the country forward. And in moving the country forward, you must mobilize people. And in mobilizing people, we are, we are almost 200 million Nigerians. You can't reach them at this short time. And you are saying, uh, if they don't start revalidation and registration, some of us may not be able to have come in. Now we have come in with our ideologies. We have come in with what we've 30 years of our politicking, we've been able to see left and right and look at what will be better for this country. And we have come with those ideas. And that is why it is far, far better that this uh, registration goes on and open 
for for times and then uh, in uh, in conflict management that is their own ideology the leadership of the party must also call them and then explain to them now maybe what, during your time this is what you are thinking do now we are looking at it that let us build a strong political party. Let's mobilize Nigerians into this party. Let Nigerians believe in our ideology. Let us all join hand in creating Nigerians that will work for all of us. And in doing this, probably during your time, you did it this way. Now we want to do it this way. If you look at the leadership under uh, May Buni, uh, you find that uh, it has bring a lot, and a lot are still, people are still coming. 16 presidential coming, you see former speakers coming, you see former governors coming. You see, that is to tell you that my Malabuni led committee uh, have worked out something that will work for the country. And therefore, that's why we share this aspiration and we also come in. And you see other people too coming in into the political party. So I think uh, the, the former leaders of the, uh, that are the HLN, they, they, they also have their uh, way they are thinking, but they should be convinced to believe in the present process. That is what I will say to that. Well, Mala Shetu Mohammed, quickly, uh, you were formerly, um, you know, closely aligned with the PDP, if I may use that phrase. At some point, you were chairman of the Interparty Advisory Council. Uh, one would have thought that, uh, you know, given the circumstances in the country at the moment, at a time when the uh, APC has been uh, heavily criticized uh, and the PDP seems to be repositioning itself afresh for 2023, that you probably have aligned with uh, the PDP. But it's a matter of a personal choice. But you've been talking about ideology. In specific terms, uh, what are these ideologies uh, that you think um, will serve the best interests of uh, Nigerians, as uh, proposed by the uh, All Progressives Congress. Restructuring, for example, which is uh, a major issue. What's your view on that? Igbo presidency, for example, uh, what's your view on that? Uh, when you are talking of uh, restructuring, yes, uh, we look at economic restructuring. Assuming now, Let's say each state of the federation should come up with crop that they get comparative advantage or mineral. There are, we have, uh, if you look at the Nigerian, what we are proud, we have everything. We have both agricultural resources, we have mineral resources, and we have aquatic resources. These three resources are spread over the country. Each state should now be asked to bring what they are more of comparative advantage on. If you are of aquatic pro resources, go move your state into that so that you earn something. If you are into agricultural resources, move your state to that. Those are type of restructuring. We look at concurrent list and then exclusive list. And we look at where it will, it, it, it will the more power that will be given to state in this area. Like in the area of transportation, building of railway, building what, those roads you call federal road today, is not possible. Why can't we take it out of the uh, uh, exclusive list and put them on that concurrent list? The, rail, the railway, why can't we, we juggle both concurrent list and, and it will help the country. For example, today, if you said Lagos State uh, uh, should uh, come up with something that they are Compa more comparative advantage us. You can, they can go into aquatic resources, which you can get in a pair and other area in the ocean. And if you go to these aquatic resources, you get a lot. How much is stream in the market? How much is our crude oil? You'll find that streams are even more uh, expensive than the crude oil. Strict example like state Mr. of Mohammed? Borno State. The first of Borno State can, Mr. yes, Mohammed? I'm just giving you our ideology. Yes. Thank you for sharing that. I'm sorry I'm to you. interject. We've got to take a short break now and we'll be back with more with Shitsu Mohammed. Please stay with us. <music> Welcome back to the uh, morning show here on Arise News. We're still with Shitsu Mohammed former national chairman and presidential candidate of the Advanced People's Democratic Alliance, but now with the ruling party, the APC. 
Um, Mr. Mohammed, before the break, Dr. Abati had asked you about the issue of zoning, whether the presidency will be zoned by your party, the APC, to the southeast. I also wanted to add to that the issue of zoning of your national chairman. As we all know, APC is looking for a national chairman since that post was you know, vacated last year by Adam Zoshemole. Has any um, decision been made regards, with regards to where that will be zoned to, north or south? Or also there's an issue now between different factions, because of course you know APC came together as a coalition. Will it be zoned to an AC stalwart or one of the CPC people who actually feel quite marginalized at this point? Uh, for us, uh, I think we believe that merit should be the main uh, of reward. Now, we want to build a country. We want to put up a strong political party. Uh, if you look at the Western world, you have the uh, Republicans, you have the Democrats, you have the left, uh, right wing, or you have the right wing. You have uh, various political parties that are very strong. Because when you build a strong political party, and in building a strong political party, you jettison issue, you must look at merit. Who merit it? Who can take this country out of the world? Because party play roles in, uh, in, in, in the governance of the country, especially the ruling party, where the manifesto of the party is being rolled out and being used. So you need a strong and somebody that is merit, that has the merit to run the party than to say zone here and zone there. I think it is time that we jettison these issue, issues of zoning than taking merit as the best. Even in our presidential uh, uh, candidateship, we should look at merit, not where he come from, who is he, and what has he. Did he merit it? Can he move the country forward? What are his antecedents? If he doesn't have antecedents, what, uh, what, what can he do? Because now we must all join hand to take this country out of wool instead of all saying that it must be zoning here or zoning there. I think merit should be the bane. This is what I would urge the leadership of this party, that we should not get hurriedly go and take somebody that doesn't merit it. Merit should now be the bane of our reward in this country. Yes, we are practice this 21 year, 22 years of democratic process. I think we should have, that's why I'm saying we should leave the issue of nascent or practicing of this. We are now, as a political uh, uh, system, we have embraced democratic process. It's, it, it's not, you can negotiate it. And therefore, we have to move now to a level that we start look at the merit. If countries are grown today, the developed country that grow, are looking at where you come from, who are you, we wouldn't have people that merit the offices at a particular time to come in. You wouldn't have people like Obama taking being present in USA. You wouldn't have, so we should jettison the issue of zoning, issue of the, the issue of merit. Among our leaders, you have people that are merited. You have vibrant governors that merit. You have vibrant political politicians that are merited. You look at merit. Don't let us look at zoning. This is my own belief and ideology of what I want to share in APC. APC, as a ruling party, must look at left, right, center first. Look at what, what have you done and, and then be able to propagate and be able to come up okay. with the leadership that okay. will benefit the country, not the benefit the party alone, of that benefit an individual, but okay. who, that, that person that will take us from where we are today. Okay, okay. Uh, I'd like you to would it be fair if power goes back to the north after the eight years of President Muhammad Buhari? Would it make for a fair nation? Uh, you, when we are talking of merit, uh, I, I want to, the issue of not, you may get the best person from the southeast. You could no, get you the question. best person said, from the southwest. Would it be southwest. fair if power goes back to the north after eight years of President Muhammad Buhari? Would it be fair if power goes back to the north? You see, in building our country, in building our country, as it's been, I'm a political scientist, what we should look is who can take us out. Who have a million, 10, 20, 
12,000 people can come out. But among them, first of all, what is, who is the choice of the people? Who, who merit it? And how? Is as soon as we go on with the issue of where you come from, where is from the north, from the south, from, we will not get it right. And we cannot continue this way. We have been on this journey for how many years? Eh? Because of this type of thing, Second Republic was truncated. We now come to the, the, now to the, we have spent 22 years now roaming about, going to the north, going to the south, going to the east. We are not looking at merit. We should look at merit. We should look at who is, being able, who is capable, who can hold it, who can change the country, what are its antecedents. I, 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 want to, I don't want to look at, uh, we should jettison that issue of north-south. Who is north, who is south? Did poverty know anybody from the north, from, from the south? Poverty don't know anybody. It is time that we now look, in fact, go beyond political and start looking at our economy. Who will take us out of this economic wow. market road that we find ourselves? Wow. That is, should be the bane of what you do. If you are hungry now, I'm talking to you now. Did I care if you are from the north or from the south? Well, I, I care of is that thing you have in your brain that make you to be. In. If, if I may just come in here. No, you, it's, 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 if I may just come in here, yes. uh, Shitu Mohammed. Well, the bigger uh, issue is about fairness, equity, justice. If you preach uh, justice. merit and uh, and uh, we, uh, you know competence to somebody from the east. Yeah, somebody from the south is will tell you there are more than enough people uh, who are good and excellent who can be president of Nigeria, and that the issue to be addressed is not just merit. You can find good people from every part of Nigeria. It's about fairness and justice. But quickly, the question I have for you, if you can treat that in just a minute, what is in this for you? I mean, you have been in the Republican Party, you have been in the PDP, you have been, in the, you have been a leader in many places, and now you have gone to the APC. What's the trade-off? What have you been promised? What's your next plan? Are you hoping to run for presidency on the platform of the APC or another position? So that from now, we'll know. Because politicians don't just make this kind of a big move uh, for the fun of it. Uh, for us, uh, my, my is how do we move this country out of the hole. I'm not about myself or about what I'll gain, but about the country, about our future. Uh, we can have over 30 million Nigerian youth roaming streets, and we have all the resources that we can harness to give them gainful employment, to give them better life, and we are still where we are. So that's why I have to move to the party that I share the same ideology. I'm not going there for anything. I'm going there to move this country, to contribute my own little quota, to move this country into the, this thing. And that is why uh, when the, you see the Committee on Mobilization headed by Yaya, Belo and Co. Uh, approach us, we said, yes, we share the same view, we share the same idea, and we move into the APC, just for us to move this country out of war. And it is based on that, I'm telling Nigerian that, let merit be the bane of our reward, not where you come from. It is time we jettison that. We are, if you are talking of, yes, equity, justice, I'm, when you are talking, I'm not saying if an, it is uh, somebody from Southeast come out and he's the best, I'll go for him. If somebody from the Southwest come out and is the best, we'll go for him. If anybody from this not come out and we we'll go for him, all we need is that at this type of time, we must now start thinking and sitting and looking at how we take this country out of the wood before we find ourselves where we of Yugoslavia. By the grace of God, Nigeria will not go there. But this is the best time for us as a country to join hand, to create that country that will be better for our future, for our grand, grand, great grandchildren. And for those <coughs> preaching that Abiola and Co have been pre preaching then, we must now come out to build this country, not for us to look at where you come from, wow. and then you get there and you cannot be able to do well, anything. Thank you very but much. Get somebody Elijah that will take us out of this. Yes, thank you very much, Elijah Shitu Mahama.